Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira beginners training, I'm going to cover how you are going to create issues in Jira and basic about different issue types within Jira. Now, because this is beginners training, I'll cover each and every basic details of Jira issue type so you are able to understand how the issues are structured, whether you are using Jira for software development, HR marketing or any other domain, right? So on a high level, if we talk about now, this is a software development project. So if we talk about the basic software development issue type, the default issue type that are available in any project that you create, for example, Scrum project, you will have an epic. OK, so the root will be the epic. So epic is the uh, issue type, you can say, which is a bigger piece of work in software development that needs to be broken down into smaller pieces to achieve that bigger piece of work. It can be, you know, a big feature, for example, if you're developing an iOS app, uh, you want to implement a payment module or payment functionality, that payment functionality or overall payment functionality can be described as an epic. Now within that, you will have different stories, right? Now story or user stories is the work item from the end user's perspective, right? So description of a work item from an end user perspective is story. Then story can be a child of epic. Then you have something like this, which is task and task can be a child of an epic as well. And then you have bug, right? So this is basically how the basic structuring works. And then, uh, and this is more of the software development project. And then you have the subtask, okay? So subtasks and every story or task or bug can have subtask within it. But overall in a software development project or scrum project, this is basic issue types that you will see in a software development project. Now, if you are using Jira for HR space or marketing space, now in, in those particular spaces, this naming convention of the issue types within Jira will change as per those domains, whether you are using in HR, marketing, legal, etc. But overall in the background issue type within Jira is basically a work item in any specific domain, wherever you are using Jira that needs to be completed in order to say that the work or the project has been done, whether it's legal, whether it's HR, marketing, software development, okay, or support wherein you have more of a Kanban boards. So that's basically how the issues are structured. Now, because this is the software development project. So in order to create an issue in Jira, it's standard. It doesn't matter you are using Jira for HR marketing or software development. You will have a standard create button there at the top, right? So I'll zoom in at the moment. So you'll see that there is a plus sign here as, as soon as I zoom in. So you can click on this plus sign or if I zoom out a little bit you will see that create button is there so to create an issue simply click on create and then you can select the issue type this is what i was discussing epic bug story and task and then subtask will be below bug story and task right and this issue type is standard that comes out of the box but then this can be customized heavily so in your projects if you go ahead and see there is a big number of lists here the naming convention has been changed mostly epic bug story task will remain standard these are standard issue types they'll remain as is but there will be new additions or could be new additions in this particular issue type as per the project configuration or jira administrator configuration okay so to create an issue simply select the issue type and then you will see the default fields that are there right so you'll see the project that you want to create your issue type in so you select the project from the drop down there what status you want this issue to be in by default it will be in the initial state so leave it default Default, you have summary field and these fields that you see are the default fields that are available within Jira. They can change as well based on the Jira administrator or requirement that your project has. Your project might be having a priority requirement wherein they want to add more priority levels in here. So you'll see accordingly different priority level. They could have more fields. They, they want to have more fields available here. So you'll see different fields that are available apart from the default ones. So here in the summary, I'll say this is what is the issue type? This is an epic. So I can say iOS payment functionality. Okay. 
and then you have the uh, parent select parent basically so epic is at the root level so you don't need to have that parent hierarchy for the epic epic is considered as the root issue type so we'll just leave it blank but then if you have different components that are defined you can select the components as of now there are no components in this particular define in this particular project defined description will have all the description about that particular epic or the issue type that you are going to create reporter is the person who is reporting this particular issue or creating this particular issue fixed version if there are versions defined in the software development you will have the release version so you can select the fixed version if applicable priority what is the priority of this particular issue type that you are creating and then team if the teams are available which team this particular issue needs to be assigned you select that from the team label if there are labels or you want to define label you can go ahead and straight away create the label for example i can say ios label okay so i can click on new label and new label will get created and by label i can go ahead and search what or how many issues are there with the label ios okay so here you will see linking of this issue it does this particular issue blocks particular issue or it is a parent of something so you, you can see that there are different linking possibilities is blocked by clone is cloned by or duplicate or relates to for example i want to select this relates to to some other issue i can go ahead and select that assignee you can select from this list so i can go ahead and straight away search for the team member whom i want to assign this particular issue and then click on assign basically or you can click on assign to me to straight away assign to yourself mostly when you are creating this issue you will assign it to your some of your team member or team lead then sprint is basically this is a software development project so software development you have two to four weeks sprint wherein this is a time boxed iteration wherein team picks up the work and then they complete and deliver it in that particular time box so sprint is nothing but that those iteration or time box to two to four weeks time box so you can select for example here there will be multiple sprints that are defined so you can select whichever sprint is the current sprint or whichever sprint you want to assign this particular issue to now the last option here you'll see that if you check this box create another this screen will remain open so if you want to create multiple issues one after the other you will see that check this checkbox is really helpful it will have a lot of default fields that you have already selected already chosen in the issue so for example if i go ahead and click on create you will see that this one issue created right and then project issue type everything mostly most of the stuff is already in there in the fields and then i can go ahead and create another issue with new summary new description etc or if i want to change the issue type i can go ahead and create a story this time right and then create a new issue so this is basically how you are going to create issue now this is one way the other way is basically if you go to the backlog okay in the backlog as well you can go ahead and create the issue straight from the backlog so in the left hand side you will see the backlog is available i go to the backlog and then here i can click on create issue okay or in the backlog i can click on create issue and it will open the box here it's not a detailed one but then i can straight away go ahead and select the issue type in here okay whichever are available so for example i want to create a task in the backlog and i can provide a des description and then edit remaining details so i'll say this is a task hit enter and you will see a issue got created okay i can then open this particular issue the details in there and update the details if i want to but creating is absolutely simple now another place if say for example i go to the active sprint so from here as well you can see i can go to the backlog all right and i can say okay go to backlog and it will go to backlog and you can then be redirected to the same screen wherein you can go ahead and create the issue now this is about the task subtask bug uh, sorry this is about task now this is about epic story task and bug now for example i have created this task and i want to create a subtask for this particular task so subtask should always have a parent associated with it right so i have opened this task i'll open in a different window so you'll see that this is a task and then straight away from here i can go ahead and add a parent okay so this task that is there i can add an epic so epic can be a parent for this particular task now this is the parent and this is a task 
below this parent and then to add a subtask below this particular task right i can go ahead and click on add and you will see i have different add options and to add a subtask subtask is nothing but a very small granular piece of work item that needs to be completed in order to complete this whole bigger piece of work right now epic is the biggest piece of work then task is there could be different tasks within the epic and then each task or story can have different subtask or smaller piece of work that needs to be done so within this particular task i can go ahead and create a subtask click on the subtask and you'll see the subtask will then get created below this particular parent item or the task that is there right i can go ahead and straight away define the task create them and then as and when the work is being done or those subtasks are completed i can go ahead and complete those tasks and complete this particular work item and this is standard for software development or HR marketing legal any sort of field when you are using Jira you will be following more or less a similar standard structure naming convention might be different and will be different in most of the cases but then the way you will be using is almost similar okay so that's all on how to create issues within Jira and basic introduction and detailed intro introduction about uh, about the issue types and how the hierarchy works in the next video i'll cover some more details about the jira issue types thank you see you in the next one